You know how sometimes you'll see people fishing in a city where they put all the dead bodies? Well, today I'm in New York City and I'm going out to the East River to go interview all the people who are fishing in it. This is Excuse Me What? Are the fish biting? In a little bit, the guys are starting to show up now, as you see. What kind of fish do you usually catch? Striped bass. How big are the fish? From like 10 inches to uh, 42. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? 47. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. What did you do with it? Threw it back. Threw it back? Did you ever eat them? Yeah, I used to. They're edible now, from what they say. I mean, I wouldn't recommend eating more than one a year, but... Mm -hmm. When did you stop eating them? A year ago. This is Infinite TV from Infinite Universes. Look. This is... 对不起什么我是杰克·瑞克特我们现在在纽约的东河有一些人在这里他们喜欢钓鱼我们会问他们一些问题喂 今天今天那麼一個鐘你你喜歡對不對剛起歡個歌起歡了嘛你喜歡那個我知道你在你住你住你住在這裡對不對剛起個嘛不對啊我剛起這個地方個你都丟了嘛你你喜歡紐約
East River or the Hudson. Yeah. So you've seen the, the fishermen, right? Yeah, I have. Yeah. And I don't know who's eating the fish, but I hope it's not me. <laughs> like, have you seen them catch fish before? Yeah, and sometimes they're like they're like this big. Jeez. Yeah. I don't know who's buying those fish. Yeah, a lot of the people I've been talking to, I mean, they've eaten them like before, but they don't eat them and it's for like therapy. It's like a therapeutic thing. Oh, so they're fishing for fun, basically. Yeah, they're fishing oh, for fun. okay. I mean, I don't find fishing fun anyways, but... Do you know why all the water in New York is gross? Or thought of as gross? I mean, because it must have been polluted by factories or something, I suppose. I don't, I don't know why exactly. So, unfortunately, a lot of the people who fish in the East River don't speak English and won't do interviews with me. So, we're gonna go and try and find something else interesting to go record for y'all. Let's get it. It's New York, baby. I'm here with Mac and Frank. Can you guys describe what's going on right now? So this is the New York Titans. So we are part of a organization, a semi-pro Quidditch, like professional organization where we play against teams that span all over the country. Right now we are training for MLQ championships in August. MLQ stands for Major League Quidditch. Thank you. It's like a, a more of a club college scene. What positions do you guys play in Quidditch? I'm a beater. I am a utility player. So uh, whatever they kind of just ask me to do, I will go do. Oh, interesting. So is there like a skill set that you guys have to like develop for Quidditch specifically? For beating specifically, like it's like very unlike any other sport because like the chaser aspect is like very similar to like a lot of other field sports. You know, like you pass, you try to score. Are you guys big Harry Potter fans? Is that how you got into it? That's how it started. Personally, no. <laughs> no, I was trying to sign up for volleyball and then I found Quidditch and I was like, it's all right. Came out to tryouts at East River Park and there was 850 kids. I made the team. I was like, oh, now I'm like, I feel like I have to come. Everyone here is very strong. <laughs> I mean, it's a high intensity sport. It is full contact. So it's about a 20 minute game of like constant movement. So there's multiple games going on in the same game at once. There's the beater game going on while the chaser game's going on. And then at times towards the end of the game, the snitch comes out and there's a secret game going on all at once. So you are like having to be like aware and still, you, you know, you need to be able to catch the ball. You need to be able to like run, make decision making. So Harry killed Voldemort as a baby with the spell. Yeah, it bounced, it killed one of his souls. <laughs> I might not be the right person. Y'all be knowing uh, Harry Potter? Like, you know any Harry Potter? Damn, all right. You're so they, they don't really know that much about Harry Potter. That's I'm fine. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been interviewing fishermen about what they catch. Oh, that's cool. I've been... I hate this channel. No! No! I'm so but, curious about them. Yeah, they catch, like, guns. It's bizarre. I'm here with Molly. Molly, how's the game going? Oh, it's pretty good. We're, yeah. we're up. And you have, a, you have a mouthpiece. Yeah, this is my mouth guard. So is Quidditch a contact sport? It's a full contact sport. Sorry. What does that like mean? Like, do you get hit? Yeah, so it's pretty similar to rugby. Um, we use two-handed tackling. The broom makes it a little bit more complicated, but... Um, do you like hit people with the, the broom? Because like you can do that with in lacrosse. The rules are a little nebulous on the broom, but you can't like wind up and hit someone. I play Chaser. Chaser tries to put the quaffle, which is a volleyball, through the hoops. So are you a big Harry Potter fan? Like, I read the books when I was a kid, yeah. but I wasn't like, oh, I have to go play Quidditch. I didn't even know it was a thing until I went to NYU. My last name is actually Potter. What? Yeah. So everybody here is also in phenomenally, like, good shape. Yeah. Is it because of Quidditch, or is this just something that you have to be in good shape for? I think you do have to be in pretty good shape, especially if you want to tackle, but, like, you don't necessarily have to be the fastest person or the strongest person. There's, like, a role for you. I'm here with Jack. Jack, how's the game going? It's going well. It's more of a scrimmage, but... Well, you guys are all the New York Titans, correct? Yes. Did yeah. you go to NYU also? Uh, I did not. I went to Emerson in Boston. I live in Astoria, mm -hmm. and they were just like, we have a Quidditch team, and I'm a huge yeah. Harry Potter nerd, so I was just like, I have to join this. Yeah, I've interviewed a couple people, and they don't know... They are like, I know Harry Potter, but I don't really know Harry Potter. I know it a little too much. Uh, what position do you play in Quidditch? Uh, I'm a chaser. You're a quaffle guy? Yes, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and ha have you been injured from Quidditch? Not as bad as a few people I know, but I have, you know, twisted an ankle. Um, I had a massive bruise on my shin. Gary! Basically been injured pretty bad. Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. Sunset 
Jeez, Rick! Oh my God! I thought this was a commercial. What, what's going on? I mean, let's just just see where this goes. Oh my God! It's still the commercial. What's the worst injury you've seen in Quidditch? I had a friend in college who dislocated their shoulder. We had to like pause the game because two of us just had to take him to the hospital, and we're like, eh. "Doesn't somebody dress up as the Snitch?" Yeah, someone puts on uh, yellow pants and they have a ball tied to their butt, and yeah, then they they run out. Really, don't run out until like 20 minutes into the game now. Are you excited for Elksburg? <laughs> yes. What is that? I'm sorry. You guys have like a tournament in Elksburg, in Elksburg, Maryland? Yes, I don't think I'm going to uh, that one. You'll, you'll fight your way up to the top. Yes. That's what Patrick Beverly did. <laughs> so my big burning Harry Potter question is, so you know how when Harry Potter was like a, a baby, he the spell bounced off of him, yes. killed Voldemort's mortal body, right? Yes. And then everybody knew about that, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. If he was a celebrity and everybody knew that his parents were dead, why didn't anybody like check up on him? I can't answer that, unfortunately. I don't know. This is... Don't worry. What? Hey, hello. What are you doing now? Sorry. I'm here with Malia and Mia. Uh, what do you guys think of the East River? I think it's really pretty. Nice. I love it. I come here every day. Would you guys ever swim in it? Absolutely not. <laughs> Maybe for some like great amount of money. How much money? How much you offering? I mean, I'm not gonna give you any money. This is like one of those hypotheticals. All right, all right. Like realistically, like if someone gave you two hundred dollars, would you jump in? Probably not. <laughs> Maybe like five hundred. Well, what about you, Malia? I would probably say like two hundred. You you guys come here every day. Do you see a lot of like fishermen catching yeah. fish? Almost every day. I've never seen them catch fish. You've never seen them catch fish? No, I see them catch like a lot of trash, plastic bags. That's bad for the environment. That is true. Microplastics in the water. Um, it's raining. I'm ending the interview here. I'm going home now. I hope to see this somewhere.